Hi, welcome to Have Roots Will Travel. This is the YouTube version of my blog and my genealogy business. My name is Lisa Elvin Stoltari, and I thought I would start this series by telling you a little bit about myself and my journey thus far. I am from Drummondville, Quebec, Canada, a small town just about an hour away from Montreal, Canada. And I am the child of a French Canadian mother and an English Canadian father. I really am a product of those two solitudes um, of Canada. As a child, however, I was always fascinated with the United States. So much so that when I went to university, I actually minored unofficially in American history. My professional career up until I moved to the United States um, was encompass sales and marketing and teaching, training, uh, corporate sales, and, um, and retailing actually as well. At the age of 35, I met my future husband, Chris, who was from California by way of Brooklyn, New York. And two years later, I found myself getting married and uh, moving to first California and then to the beautiful city that I now live in, in Tucson, Arizona. Our 20-year-old daughter, Samantha, is currently a student at the University of Arizona. My passion for genealogy extends back to my pastoring, my Scottish grandfather, um, all about his life and how it was back in Scotland and did he remember his grandfather, that sort of thing. And I just love the subject of genealogy as a, as a you know, as just a general subject. Um, my grandmother uh, on my dad's side, kept telling me about how important her side of the family was and this and that, and I really should check it out. And I just thought she was, you know, putting it on, putting, you know, giving me a little bit more information than I needed. And I just sort of disregarded her. That was a big mistake. I really thought they were just farmers in the eastern townships, Quebec. You know, I really did not think any further. And as for my mother's side of the family, the French Canadian, well, I was inundated with uncles, aunts, cousins uh, constantly. And my English side had moved away. So I really didn't want to know anything about French Canada. I really wanted my English side, if you will. And little did I know how fascinating it was actually. And around 2010, a dear friend of mine came to me and asked me if she thought um, I would like Samantha to join the Children of the American Revolution, otherwise known as CAR. And I thought that was great. And I said to her, I'll look it up, um, you know, on Chris's tree. I'll try to find some patriots for sure. I'm not going to be able to find it on mine, but, you know, I will definitely, you know, work this out. About so I sat there and my father had passed away about two weeks prior. And I know it sounds really spooky, but I heard a voice saying to me, Look at my tree first. So there I go. I pull out my grandmother's um, information, all the things that she wrote about this Elisha Andrews and all that, and how they came over from New Hampshire. And, and um, I kept growing up that tree. It took about two hours. But because the family was so well documented and I had never bothered to look, um, it became obvious to me at that point how American I really was and what the attack, you know, why I had been always so attached to the concept of America. I felt like I was needed to come home. It turns out that my original immigrant Andrews, William Andrews, had immigrated here from England in 1637 and was one of the original founders of New Haven, Connecticut. In fact, I, I found his plot of land. So that was just amazing. So that began a whole, you know, passion, if you will, of pursuing genealogy seriously. I took classes and attended conferences and um, participated in various genealogy societies as a vice president, as a membership chair. I even wrote a newsletter. I did all kinds of things just to, you know, further my understanding. And more importantly than anything, I kept 
Um, I kept doing trees. I would volunteer at the library. I, I set up, you know, a uh, kind of a, who do you think you are back in the small town that we lived in at the time in Prescott. And then I did it again in Arizona, in Tucson when I got here. Just absolutely wanted to help people find out more about um, their tree. But it became obvious to me that my expertise really lied um, in the French Canada and the fact that I'm fluently bilingual, I speak French, understand it, and also know Quebec and no no Canada. Um, so then I began really delving into Quebec and I began teaching Quebec history and helping people find their Quebec roots. Once I really started studying Quebec, I also, of course, discovered the King's Daughters, otherwise known as Les Filles du Roi. And then I was hooked. There was no going back. Um, my other passion is travel. And merging my two loves, genealogy and travel, is truly my life's mission. In this series, I hope that I can present some videos um, that make you feel like you're traveling and getting to know the history of where you're traveling to. Sometimes before you're going to travel, instead of traveling. But more importantly, understanding why your ancestors made the decisions they made is paramount to understanding um, so much about who you are and how you got here. Um, knowing that there were historical and other situationals that affected their um, decisions is so critical to pursuing this lifelong knowledge of your ancestry. Now, we will also do some seminars on um, census, um, how to identify census records, um, how to, you know, view, how to analyze data and death certificates and all that good stuff. We'll even do a, a short series on the King's Daughters that I plan on doing. But more importantly than not, I want to take you on a trip, a trip that says, here we are, we're traveling through the past so that we can understand the present and hopefully the future. And with that, I'm, I bid you adieu. And uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video, which will be We, Quebec History and Genealogy. Bye for now.